Yeah, winter. I know, it's winter <laughs> even though we're actually in April. Hi everybody, I am here with Gloria from Shanyara Leone. I've been practicing that because I can't quite pronounce the name of her channel. No, I got that wrong. No, that's great. I'm here with her and her gorgeous little boy who's down here, Isaac. Um, and making a mess. Making a bit of a mess. You can't see, but there's total chaos behind us. And they're visiting from Munich, so we have met up. And today we're going to make a video giving you guys five tips for traveling as a family. There's going to be five tips on my channel here in this video and then over on Gloria's channel there's another five tips so definitely head over to her channel I'll link to that below we've both done loads of traveling with our family you guys did an epic round the world trip yeah when Isaac was four months old yeah it was incredible we've just done lots of trips staying here there and everywhere you can trust us you can trust us <laughs> seriously we do have quite a lot of experience between us so we just thought we would share it without further ado let's get going the first tip I am going to share is around the very important issue of food. So often we'll be traveling and it will get to a certain point and we'll all be kind of cranky and we won't really be able to put our finger quite on why until one of us is like, okay, we haven't eaten anything and it's like three o'clock. Sometimes we just go crazy amounts of time without eating yeah. food because we just forget. Yeah, the 10 minutes, things come in between. Or like one of the kids needs to go to sleep. So my first tip is make sure everybody is really well fed and really well watered because it just makes everyone in a way better mood and avoids hunger. So yeah, lots of food, lots of drink and not lots of snacks. Yeah, not only the babies or the kids, also the parents. Definitely. They get hungry, especially when you're breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My uh, next tip would be have no plans. It goes hand in hand with not having a routine. Like, don't book any trips. Don't like book any big hikes or anything. Or, like just don't do any planning because off, more often than not, it would come more differently than you would expect it to come. Or like something happens, or like your baby gets sick or it gets tired, or something comes up. You're off way happier if you don't plan. Completely agree. I remember when we first started traveling just with Jack. I would like have these plans for the day and like have all these things that I wanted to get done that was like five things in a day. Basically the kind of things that we would do before we had kids and very quickly realized that it was just a recipe for disaster like yeah, to try and do all of that. Take what you were gonna do or wanted to do and like half that and then half that again. Yeah. Like literally one thing in one day is enough. Or also just um, do your daily life that you would do back home, wherever that is. Um, just do it at a different yeah. place and, uh, at your travel destination. Definitely. Just carry on life normally. Yeah. Less is definitely more. Yeah. My next tip is to take a relatively empty suitcase or basically not to take too much stuff. When I've traveled with the kids and had a suitcase with like literally just the bare minimum when it comes to clothes and toiletries, I felt so much happier, so much lighter, like physically and emotionally, and not having to like rifle through a massive suitcase is just so nice, and just opening it and having a couple of options, grabbing something and going is the best. Yeah, less options, less Decision making. Yeah. We always wash clothes when we're abroad, we we'll always yeah. go to laundrette and if you need things you can always pick things up like unless you're going somewhere very remote you're going to be able to get most things you need wherever you're going. And it's a fun activity isn't it going yeah. to laundrette? Yeah exactly <laughs> it's a fun activity and like I just find the times when we've taken like loads of stuff it's just been like too much. Yeah it's yeah. weighing you down. Yeah usually we take just a backpack and I would literally yeah. just advise a couple of t-shirts, a couple of shorts or like uh, dungarees or something. I actually did a video about how to pack minimally because I feel really passionately that you just don't need much stuff, especially when traveling with kids. Yeah. One piece is a great, no? Yeah. You just throw it on your dress. Yeah, and you can right. put a different t-shirt on and then it's like a different outfit. And my next top tip would be don't have expectations. In every direction, just, just don't have expectations. If you go to a restaurant, don't expect it to go smoothly. Don't expect the food to be good. Keep the, the expectations low. Keep people low. My last tip for traveling as a family is not to rely on technology. What I mean by that is don't rely on mobile phone signal or mobile phone battery or network, any of those things. We've caught ourselves out a couple of times by thinking, okay, well, we'll check the directions when we get there using Google Maps on our phone and we get there and there's no signal or we've run out of battery and yeah, relying on your phones is not a good idea. So now whenever we go places, I'll always check before we head off, like look it up, properly have an idea of directions and sometimes ideally as well, get like an old school map 
or like write out the directions by hand. We had like a nightmare in Costa Rica once, we were just like stranded, having relied on our phones and having no signal, nothing. We had to like drive around for like an hour until we could finally get some signal. So, we went to Costa Rica? Yeah. No way, you have to tell me. <laughs> I wanna go so badly. It is pretty beautiful. And we have also learned off the back of that to always have a car charger. Do you see the sloth in Costa Rica? Yes. Oh, and one extra bonus tip. Yeah. Make use of strangers. Oh yeah, I yeah. also that one, yeah. It's amazing, like at the airport, strangers wanna play with your baby or smile at them, yes. make use of it. Or, okay, you agree. Or the underground. And also strangers' kids, make use of strangers' kids. Yeah. Anything that keeps your kids distracted or entertained helps. You. Yeah, we'll like literally see like a, a family with like a kid and I'll be like, oh, hello, hello child, please come and entertain mine. That's a really good one. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to pop over and watch Gloria's video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed these travel tips and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.